Yesterday I saw a gr little girl walking by herself. I asked her where her parents were, and she joyfully, without hesitation, pointed to her two moms. When we're little, we don't judge or discriminate. We just love everyone. By the time we hit our teenage years, we begin to hate and use these awful things based on society. What society says is right or wrong is now what we think is right or wrong. This is unacceptable. It is causing major hate crimes, unequal rights, and horrible death rates. So today I'm here to inform you about the LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender community, what we face, ways you can help, and the need to help. We make a first impression on someone within the seven seconds of meeting them. However, society is making a first impression on us before ever meeting us. They do it based on who we love. But why? Why does it matter? This is causing major hate crimes. It is causing the third, it is the third largest crime in the world. Even said to be bigger, but the LGBTs don't want to come forth. Not only do they have to suffer hate crimes, but they suffer bullying. They're harassed at school and many other places. A 40-year-old waited for a long time to come out because of the bullying and harassment they experienced. My friend in seventh grade came out and got queer written on her locker and was afraid to go to school for weeks. And if this keeps continuing, in the long run, we'll end up having several more death rates and horrible crimes. And a survey taken in Jan January 2014 by the intendant showed that half of the LGBTs suffer mental health issues and that 40% consider suicide. We need to lower these statistics. They are said to experience drugs and alcohol and abuse it and cause hatred in the families. It hurts to know I actually know a mom who had so much bullying done to her for being gay that she re in turn bullied her children. So all this could be stopped if we did at least three things. One, open our heart. Stop judging based on what society thinks or what someone else thinks. Judge based on their heart. Judge based on the type of person they are. That's what you should do. You could be losing your bestest friend if you chose to judge based on who they loved and what society says is right or wrong. Support them. But if you can't support them, don't say no. This is one of the instances where saying nothing is better than saying no. They need your love and support, especially from their families. It, more effects are done to gays that don't have support from their families than ones with support. So help support them. Three, stop using stereotypes and foul language. Saying the shirt looks gay or those people look like fags is putting a negative meaning towards gays and a negative stereotypes to gays. When gay actually means happy in the dictionary, so keep it along that path. That means gay. Stop putting that stereotype in there by using it for a negative term. Ways you could help the community as well as them. You could help people get adopted. There are over 400,000 orphans without families. There's 153 million orphans in the world, and there's two million gays ready to adopt, yet Catholic churches are shutting down all over the world because they'd rather have no one adopt than have a gay adopt. So they're hurting the children. And it's sad when you think about 50% of straight couples have kids unintended, where gays always have them attended. So let them adopt. Stop preaching to them. Stop trying to tell them that they're going to hell because many of them don't believe they are. It's wrong to judge them. When God says that judge, judging is for them and God to do on judgment day. 
so that is for sure staying constant with the Bible. Also, you should remove the speck from your eye before trying to remove a log from someone else's. Those two things stay constant in every Bible. However, the Bible has been rewritten many times, so we don't know if they're really going to hell or if we're really not going to heaven for being gay. So stop judging. Three, help them go to school. You should help them go to school. Many students don't want to go to school because gays are among the most to abuse alcohol, take drugs, consider suicide, drop school, and many other things. Because nine out of 10 students experience sexual harassment at school. This is not okay. We need to keep them in school. People all the time say that bullying is wrong. So why are we turning the other cheek when gays get bullied? So if we choose to love and support them, we'll be helping many and we'll be changing our community around. Let's let them love, marry, adopt. Let's lessen the statistics of bullying and hate crime and not using stereotypes or foul language anymore. And if you're still wondering what a gay family looks like, why don't you watch this video? Let's lessen the statistics. Let's help children not be stigmatized because over 50% of children with gay moms and gay dads get stigmatized. So let's help our community change and our society change into a very better loving community. Thank you.